Hello and welcome back. I'm your friendly neighborhood technician. Well, since the uh, 400E is a little too quiet now, I guess I'd figure I'd start on something that's going to be quite a bit louder. So, uh, it's been a while since I've done a video on this, but I want to get this running too and uh, see how fun that is. Alrighty, this is where I'm at. First thing I want to do, I'm going to take this transmission out. It is a little leaky and I have all the seals to reseal the transmission so I'm gonna have to take it out clean it and then um, get it back in here I don't know what to do about all this wiring so um, haven't decided yet so um, but I'm gonna get out gotta get the axles out both those rear axles that one right there that one right there um, which are each held in by uh, eight I believe two two four six eight, six or eight, um, they're gonna be triple squares on those. So we gotta get out of each end of those. And then there's one down there and then one over here um, that we're gonna get out. I already got the wheels off. So um, you can see those are nice and greasy and dirty also. So we're gonna clean up as much stuff as we take out, make it look a little decent going back in there. Here we are with the axles out. You can see that's the passenger side. That's the passenger side of the transmission. That's the passenger side out by the wheel. And I'm gonna have to take all this apart, clean all that grease out, or clean all that grease out, and uh, I don't think there's anything in there uh, because the bearings are in the axle. Now I'm gonna have to throw new boots on the axle. You can see right there is that old grease. I'm gonna clean all that, put some brand new grease in there, some good quality grease make sure everything's working properly there's the axle actually one of them that's the passenger side you can see that grease in there is kind of almost dry looking dry and chunky here's driver's side same thing so yeah i'm gonna have to clean out every single little bit of that and then get it all re-greased up working fine well here we are got some parts that I'm gonna need so far um, I'll probably come across other things I'll need but these are new axle boots you can see right there they're not the universal split ones they're this kind so I will have to take the bearing off the CV joint off and then install this on the axle and then put the joint back on there's four of those in there more down there. So we're gonna put those on. Then for some reason I have two transmission seal kits. I don't know why. And then you have your clutch cable and accelerator cable. Next we are going to remove the wing nut from the clutch cable and disconnect the clutch cable from your clutch lever. You do want to make sure you put a little bit of tension on the clutch cable. You don't want it sliding back in there uh, because the clutch cable may come disconnected from the back of the clutch pedal and then your pedal assembly will have to be removed. Next, under the back seat, you have to remove that cover, which is just a Phillips screw. Next, we need to remove the safety wire and then that so we can disconnect the shift shaft. Next, you're gonna wanna remove the nut for the ground strap. Next, we have to remove that nut and that nut. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out these two 27s because I wanna pull out this bracket with it, it goes on the end of those rails right there. And that way I can pull the transmission straight out the back. I don't have to worry about coming up and over by taking out these two mount bolts, those two mount bolts, and then have to come up and over that. So I'm gonna take those out and pull it straight out the back. Also, what you gotta worry about is attached to this harness right here, this cable, there are two electrical connectors at the front of the transmission that you will have to disconnect also. It's a little tight right now, so I'm gonna get it to get the transmission out a little bit and then I'll disconnect those. Next, I am just gonna pull the transmission straight out the back. Alrighty, here it is out. 
and you can see that it is an AH trans. So yeah, I need to take this all apart, get it all cleaned up, clean up those side seals, uh, clean up those uh, cover plates right there on the side, both sides, make it look pretty. So um, that'll be in a later video. Alrighty, that's it for this video. Um, thank you for watching and make sure you give me that thumbs up, hit subscribe, and make sure you hit the notification icon so you can get another notification when I post another video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.